Okay. Whoopee! Hop the John. My next guest has been with us a number of times in the show. Franklin Jai is a very funny, very droll comedian, and he's going to be appearing tomorrow night through New Year's Eve in Cleveland, Ohio, at Hilarity's Comedy Club. And he's also appearing in a uh, Showtime special, Jonathan Winters and Friends, which I think airs in February. Would you welcome, please, Franklin Ajay. Franklin! <laughs> How are y'all tonight? Good. <laughs> you know, uh, like, like a lot of people, I've been thinking a lot about uh, romance, and, you know, love is either a game or, or war, and sometimes it's both, you know, uh, but it depends on your attitude. So, like, I've been dating with a real adventuresome attitude, just, you know, having, having fun. I got cologne conscious again. You know, I went out, I uh, hadn't had any new cologne, so I said, hey, I went to the store. I said, what you got, Kat? I said, well, you got some, some chaps. I said, what's that? Well, you can smell like the Old West. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's definitely one of the most fragrant periods in our history. <laughs> A lot of great odors came out of there. What you got? Well, we got unwashed buttock is very popular. <laughs> that's okay, man, that's okay, that's okay. I like the way that, that bottle looks there, man. I like that. What's that? Well, that's some Old Spice, $1.99. Cool, cool. That's, I got a date tonight. I don't want to be making a lot of decisions. He said, well, look, why don't you buy the big bottle so it can last all night? We got, uh, we got a five-gallon jug for $2.99. You know? So I met this woman, you know, and she was an interesting woman. She, uh, she used to brush her teeth with baking soda. All right, that was it. No, no toothpaste, just baking soda. And her teeth looked good, you know? She'd come over to my house and say, look, look, look. i say, yeah, they look pretty good. Baking soda? Uh-huh. Hey, why don't you go sit in my refrigerator for about a half hour? <laughs> you know? All right. And she was a lot of fun, you know? She was a lot of fun. I used to have a lot of fun with her. I've had bad dates. We all have those, right? And there's a bad date, man. Oh, five. The thing about a bad date is five minutes into the date, you, you know it's bad, right? <laughs> but you, you continue all the way through with the date instead of like following that gut instinct right at that moment and just backing the car up and turning to the person and say, go back in the house. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the date. Up to that tree and back was the date. <laughs> you know, I'm... I'm eccentric. <laughs> One thing I have noticed is, is, is women really keep their apartments really nice. Uh, you know, even a sloppy woman is neat by male standards. And, and what cracks me up is they're always very defensive about the way their place looks. Like when you come to pick them up, you know, you're, you're stunned. God, man, this, whoa, you know, this is... And it's an excuse the way the place looks. You know, I just got home from work and I haven't had time to straighten it up. And you say... Well, well uh, what's out of uh, work, you know? She, well, there's some, some dust on the stereo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw that dust when I came in. <laughs> but you get some points because you admitted it. <laughs> Trying to get the, get the upper hand a little bit, you know? Ah, uh, yeah. But, you know, she was serious about that dust, man. Because, you know, men can't see dust. I've never seen dust, you know? <laughs> I don't even know where to look for dust. <laughs> you know, but she was serious. She came over my house, man. Made me feel like I lived with the Adams family. <laughs> was all agitated. I said, what's wrong? What's, what's wrong? She said, well, you know, this, this dust is disgusting. I said, well, you know, I, you know, where? I don't see the dust. She, she went over to the TV. You don't see this? Uh, yeah, yeah, now I do. <laughs> so, uh, how are we gonna fill that back in? <laughs> you, know? you know, how are we gonna do that? <laughs> dust it with what? I have never needed anything to dust with. I didn't know I had dust till you came over. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, now you're out here in this uh, dating thing with AIDS, you have to be thinking about uh, celibacy, you know? There's a word that was just destined to spend its whole life unused, just living in the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> nobody looking it up. And uh, <laughs> nobody even interested in it, you know? 
But now you have to think about it. I have noticed that women seem to be more nonchalant about celibacy when you talk with them. You know, they say, oh, you know, I haven't made love in about uh, uh, three or four months, and, you know, I really haven't missed it at all. I've been doing a lot of horseback riding. <laughs> Really? You know, I went down to the stables, man. I said, how's business? Booming, Jack. <laughs> I don't understand it, man. I don't understand it. <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, yeah. That sex drive is, is powerful, isn't it, you know? You know, it gets me. I think there's always a crucial moment when you try to seduce a woman and she says no, you know? And, and you have to try to read that no. <laughs> I wonder if it really means no, you know, and wonder whether to ask why. That's always a big decision, because <laughs> the ego is real vulnerable right then. And women think very quick under that pressure. You know, they always give you these, these, these reasons that are just offbeat enough that you have to think about, it. Well, well, why not? Uh, well, I'm uh, just not mentally prepared to make love right now. <laughs> what are you... Oh, man. The sex drive is got strong because, you know, God created the sex drive, though. That, you know, that's his doing. That's why it seems to run us out of control sometimes. You know, he was up in heaven, you know, working and saying, uh, say, Gabriel, I want you to go over to that wall and hand me about 30 of those uh, super sensitive nerve endings. 30? <laughs> wow, what, what, you, what you working on? God is... 30 nerve and it's going to be explosive. What is it? What is it? Well, I'm working on a reproductive system. This is it. This is what's going to guarantee that there's going to be people. That's right. I got to guarantee that there's going to be people through, no matter what's happening in the world, no matter through the arguments, through not talking to each other, there's got to be people. I got to make this feel too good for people to give up. <laughs> in fact, hand me about five more. <laughs> yeah, I want them calling out my name. Funny stuff. That's funny stuff. I've been thinking a lot. Some sit in my refrigerator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a new thing, the baking soda. We'll get this. Oh, we'll do this. We'll be right back. There we are. Can I get this something? Sure, you bet. What'd you like?